Hello everyone and welcome to GadgetWarm.com's tutorial. My name is Sham and today I will be telling you how to increase virtual RAM. Now first of all let me tell you what increasing virtual RAM is really about. In your PC or your um, Mac, whatever it might be, you will have certain amount of allocated RAM in your computer. So suppose let's say you have 4 gigabytes of RAM in your computer. Now you can only do so much work with that RAM. When you open too many applications or multitask or when application is taking too much RAM space, you start to run out of that space and in return your computer starts getting slower, your processes start getting slower and the whole nine yards. So today I will be telling you how to actually get rid of that factor. Now is this as effective as actually putting more physical memory in your laptop? Not really. If you put more physical memory in your laptop, that will really give your laptop a performance boost. So I always recommend that. But can you also put that memory and also do this or some of the people out there who don't have money right now uh, to actually increase the physical memory? Uh, you can take an alternative approach and this will boost your performance up by 10, 20 or sometimes even 30%. What we are actually going to do is take some of the hard disk space and actually use that as RAM. So let's check it out how to do it. Uh, by the way, it doesn't matter if you have Windows 7, Windows XP, or even uh, Windows Vista. The process is basically the same. The menus might be a little different, but you'll come around the settings. So first, you click on the Start menu. Right-click on Computer. Click on Properties. This dialog box right here is going to open. As you can see, my laptop has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 3.8 gigabytes of which it tells me is actually being used right now or, or is usable and 0.2 gigabytes is acquired by some software maybe the operating system or something of that sort so now what we want to do is actually click on advanced system settings right here so when you click on that you will have this little dialog box appear this is the system properties box we want to look at the first option right here performance you can tweak your visual effects processor scheduling memory usage and virtual memory virtual memory that's what we are trying to tweak so we click on settings again a little dialog box appears you can click on advanced tab right here once you click on advanced tab it will take you to this right here the first part is not anything we need to worry about the virtual memory is where the whole thing comes into play let me read the description a paging file is an area on the hard disk that window uses as if it were a RAM so basically it's saying it's going to use some portion of the hard disk as if it was a RAM now you can see total paging file size for all drives right now for my computer is 8911 megabytes for your computer it might be dip it might be different depending on how much uh, actual RAM you have or how much uh, is being allocated from your hard disk so you click on change right here and this will show you this little dialog box virtual memory now at this point some of you might be wondering what is this I don't have C or a D drive a C and a D drive in my computer well that's perfectly normal because some of the computers just have one drive this is basically my recovery drive if I open my computer right here you'll be able to see that's my recovery drive and that's my regular C drive where I store everything 441 gigabytes so uh, if you have one drive that's perfectly fine you'll be able to do it still um, some of you might be have this kind of screen where this thing is the little thing is ticked off automatically manage paging file size for all drives and what this does is it doesn't let you tweak the settings it's the computer is going to automatically manage how much hard disk it's going to allocate to towards the RAM so you can click that and click right here on custom size and once you do that you will see initial size and a maximum size what this will let you do is dedicate amount of megabytes you want towards your more RAM storage. So it tells you here minimum allowed, which I really don't know what it's for, but it tells you, oh yeah, that's for how much you have to keep a certain minimum amount of your hard disk towards that RAM. You can't have zero. So that and recommend it. It recommends like this is how much I can, it's recommending me to do it. Then it's telling me how much is currently located. Uh, allocated sorry uh, so you must be wondering how it's allocated 8,000 megabytes where I only see 5,000 right here well I have 5,000 from the C drive and 3,000 from the D drive so that makes it a total of 8,911 megabytes now 
here you can put in a number now what what's your number going to be every one of you is going to have a different amount of RAM in your computer some of you might have a gigabyte some of you might have two some of you might have eight how can you still process, uh, boost your computer up well we can always open the calculator not like we need it but yes it's always better to calculate these things on the calculator uh, 1024 megabytes roughly around in a megabyte uh, in a gigabyte so if we have 1024 megabytes in a gigabyte how many megabytes in 4 gigabytes or whatever amount of RAM you have suppose let's say you have 4 gigabytes so we click on the multiplication sign and click on 4 and that's how much RAM we have in megabytes now what we want to do is multiply that by 1.5 because usually people do 1.5 or either 2 uh, but 1.5 is a good rule of thumb that's being on a safe side so you multiply it by 1.5 and that's how much you're allowed to, or more like you should tweak it by so you can put I can put here 6144 and here also 6144 but since the computer recommended me 5839 that's what I went for if you wish to go for 6144 or whatever your number is that's perfectly fine that you're not going to be destroying your computer by doing that if you would go with the recommended one I would say that's fine also I didn't notice a big performance difference between 6144 and 5839 so I just went with 5839 once you type in that number and right here and here it's the same number in both places uh, you can click set after that once you click set and it goes through the process you click OK once you click OK, this sign might be still applicable, so you click Apply, and in some of your computers it might tell you to restart the computer. So you just click OK there, OK here, OK here, exit out of everything, and you can restart your computer, and that way you will have your actual virtual memory upgraded. So will this make things faster? Yeah, a little. It will definitely have some sort of impact on your computer depending on how much you're allocating but will this be again as useful as upgrading the f physical RAM no no I would really recommend you to go and buy some physical RAM if you don't have enough on your computer because the RAM is the cheapest upgrade you can do so if you do that your computer will really boost up its performance um, that being says, said st uh, stay tuned for your for our next video we will be telling you how to use a flash drive to tweak the performance of your of your laptop that's right just the same way we allocated some hard disk space and it would only let us do so much we can also do the same thing with the flash drive and use flash uh, the flash drive I mean USB flash drive uh, we can also use the USB flash drive to speed things up a little can we use both at the same time yes we can so stay tuned for the next video subscribe to the channel please thank you